Hi guys, over the next uh, few videos I'm going to be showing you uh, our process of uh, basically converting a camper van from start to finish. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a few short videos over the next uh, couple of weeks uh, showing you the preparation and the line out and, and the fit out at the end. Uh, but this is the vehicle that we're going to be doing on. We've got a, a long wheelbase Citroen Relay. Uh, I'll show you inside. I've, I've stripped everything out ready. Um, the flooring's come up, all the panelling's off. Um, the seats are out. You can see it's it's a burr shell at the minute. Still need a little bit of cleaning to go on. Uh, but one of the first things that I, that I start off with, um, obviously I, I check the list that I've got and the layout that I'm doing. Uh, and then I, I write on the panels um, roughly where my petitions are going to go. Uh, and that gives me an idea then of where I need to run the wiring. Uh, we've got the fridge going there. You can make that out. But basically, what we've got, we've got a fridge and wardrobe at uh, this end here. In between, uh, we've got the shower and toilet, and then at the ends, uh, we'll have uh, two six foot beds at the end, one either side, and then we've got the kitchen area <clears throat> coming over the door. Um, windows, you see, I've marked out around the back, and there's one in the sliding door as well. Uh, mark the uh, where the lights are going. So basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut these windows out, um, get all the, uh, the metal um, uh, protected um, and then let that dry. I'm going to put some framework around the windows as well. Um, I'm going to get these wheel arches cleaned up, get some panel wipe on there so make sure there's no grease on I'll get them carpeted. Uh, same around the door edges and, uh, and down here as well. Right, okay, uh, so look what we've got so far. Uh, we've run the uh, the wiring in, 12 volt and 240, and you see the uh, the light feeds dropping down there in the corners and in the middle. Um, we've got coaxial cable running in because that's going. The that, this is the the boost is going here with the aerial, and we've got the uh, the actual socket and the plug-in point for it down on this point here, just uh, on the side next to the flap on the end of the kitchen. And we've got the wiring in for the toilet. This is where it's all going to be coming through the panels. Um, 12 volt and 240 stuff. Uh, we haven't got um, the sergeant wiring in yet. It's not coming from the supplies yet. So we've not got that in. All the control panel wire for the uh, the combi eater, uh, which will be going in on this point as well. Uh, we've got the uh, the vehicle battery wire in there. Um, the ignition feeds in, so that's done. Um, so the wiring side of it is is all bought there for a couple of bits and pieces. Um, we've got the the roof. Um, pieces on that keeps the roof nice and straight. I don't know if you can see the bow in the roof there. They're put on there to keep the roof nice and straight. Um, we've got the framework for the the roof fence. They're all bonded in, and stuck there nicely. Um, we've got the framework. Show the next side as well. Framework for the windows. They're all clamped on, drying. And we've got the, um, the carpeted wheel arches, both sides. They actually needed quite a bit of work then because uh, this was lined out, this vehicle, uh, when it came to us. When we took everything off, there was holes in the wheel arches from the screws that they'd been put in. Uh, so we had to um, seal them up and make sure it was dry before we started on them. And we've got the, uh, the carpet bit at the front there as well. So that's what we've got up to now. Uh, next part is going to be making some panels, um, making it fit to the sides and onto the roof. We'll get a, a floor done as well um, and then make sure uh, everything fits. There's another bar to go on here um, and on the other side just to keep this side straight because of the uh, the hump that that causes there. Um, so I'll get on with that and then I'll, uh, I'll do another video on and show you that one. Okay, so we're a bit further along again. Um, as you can see now, we've got the rails on the side. Uh, these make, this will make, sorry, the panels go uh, flat to the side. Um, I've got some leather around the edges there. Uh, I've started putting some insulation in the um, in the corners, all the nooks and crannies, if you will. I've not obviously not done the the, the full panels yet. Um, floors down, floors cut, bonded down, we bonded that overnight 
Uh, there's no screws in it, it's all uh, bonded down with Sikaflex, we put weights on that. And obviously the joints so we've had to sand down to make sure there's no creases in the line or once that goes down. Um, we've got new plastics down the side, it's all trimmed off nice and neat. Um, we've got, I'll show you the back, the reversing camera. Which we've fitted for them. And that's also, we've got a camera at the back there as well, at the front there, sorry. Um, the wiring came for the sergeant kit. So that's running now, so that's all the wiring done. The solar panel came, so we can uh, show you that. Solar panel's at the back there. And the wiring's uh, through here, that's going to be going into one of the lockers. Um, so that's that done. Uh, I've cut all the panelling, side panels, they've been uh, trimmed and fitted. Uh, I'm going to start covering them now. I'm going to get the insulation in, get the line all down, get the sides on. And I'll leave that for the next video. So for now, this is this is the prep side of it. Um, that's more or less done really by for the insulation side and then we can start lining. Um, so this is it for this video. Um, the rest of it, the line outside, I'll do in another video. But if you've got any questions or anything, uh, don't hesitate to ask and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.